This video is about whole steps and half steps. When you look at many of the videos in this group, you will see that they are referencing intervals, chords, and scales based on patterns of whole steps and half steps. We will be looking at them on the piano where they're easy to see and also looking at alternate names for different keys. This is a chart that shows you the names of the white and black keys. We will talk about sharps and flats in a moment after we figure out what whole steps and half steps are. The half step is the shortest distance you can travel on the piano. B to C is a half step. There's no key in between. C to C sharp, the very next black key, is also a half step. There's no key in between. When you're searching for a whole step, there will be a key in between. B to C sharp skips C. C to D skips C sharp. So anytime there is a key in between, regardless of the color of that key, you have a whole step. Here's a whole step going from one black key to another, skipping a white key in between. A sharp is the sign that's given to a note one half step to the right of an alphabet name for a key. So, C sharp. We've gone one half step to the right of the alphabet name C and landed on C sharp. A flat is the sign that's attached to an alphabet name when we go one half step to the left or lower. So D going one half step to the left takes you to D flat. That means a key, like this black key, can be referenced in two ways, either as a sharp or a flat. The same thing can happen here, because B may also be referenced as C flat. C may also be referenced as B sharp. This is a handy guide to where keys are and how they're named. It's a good video to come back to if you're just learning these things.